For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem which says replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at O. So basically first let's find the resultant force. So let's find all the points involved in order to do that. So first we have this point right here and this point right here. Let's call this point. A and let's call this point B. So A sits at 0 in the I plus 0.5 in the J plus 0.3 in the K and B sits at minus 0.4 in the I plus 0.5 in the J plus 0 in the K. So First, we're going to find the Cartesian vector form of all the forces. F of 1, which has a magnitude of 100, is just going on the negative y direction. So it's simply negative 100 j. Simple. F of 2, we need to find the Cartesian vector form. To do that, we're going to find the univector aiming in its direction, univector AV. Now, univector AV is given by the vector AV divided by its magnitude. Vector AV is given by B minus A and it is equal to minus 0.4 in the I plus 0 in the J minus 0.3 in the K. That's a minus. Then you need to find the magnitude of this vector which is given by the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. You plug in these three values for the x, the y, and the c, and you're going to get that the magnitude to be 0.5. Now the univector, you find it by dividing these three values by this 0.5, and you get that the univector is equal to minus 0.8 in the i plus 0 in the j minus 0.6 in the k. Now that we have the univector, you know that f of 2 is given by the magnitude of f of 2, which is given at 200 newtons, times the univector AB. So when you multiply this 200 by these three values, you're going to get that the Cartesian vector form of f2 is minus 160 in the i, minus 120 in the k. Nothing in the j because it lays on the x parallel to the xc plane. Now that we have the Cartesian vector form of, of the forces acting in this assembly, you can find the resultant force by adding these two forces. So the J with the J, the I with the I, and the K with the K. So the resultant force comes out to be minus 160 in the I, minus 100 in the J, minus 120 in the K. So now we have the resultant force. What we need to find is the resultant moment. There are three moments acting on this assembly. The moment F of 1 creates, the moment F of 2 creates, and the moment MC is right here. As you can see, you can tell right off the bat that MC is parallel to the negative x-axis. So the Cartesian vector form of MC is equal to minus 75 in the x-axis, which is negative uh, i. So we already found one moment. We need to find two more moments. The first moment, let's say the moment f of 1 is creating about 0, 0.0, is given by this vector cross f of 1. So Let's call, yeah, this vector is simply going up uh, in the C. Let's call this point, I don't know, let's call it point, point L, arbitrary letter. So OL is equal to, it's simply going up 0.3 meters, so it's 0.3 in the K. That's OL. So you build, uh, let me actually write down the formula so I don't confuse you. So the moment f1 creates about O is given by OL vector cross 
f of 1. So on the first row you put your i, your j, your k, second row you put ol which is 0, 0 and 0.3, last row you put f1 which is going just 0, minus 100 and 0. So you write your first and second column i, j, 0, 0, 0, minus 100. You do your positive diagonals which is 0, 0 and 0. And you do your negative diagonals, which is zero negative. Okay, negative diagonals. Negative negative one hundred times point three times i is, after all, positive thirty. In the i, and the last one zero. So this is the moment f of one is creating thirty in the i. You can tell if you look at it. It's just turning the x into this direction. Now the moment of f of two. The moment f of 2 creates by O is given by the vector OA cross f2. So we draw a matrix I, J, K, OA, which is OA is equal to A because O is at the origin. So this is 0, this is 0 0.5, this is 0 0.3, and f2 which we found the Cartesian vector form already is minus 160, 0 and minus 120. So you rewrite your first and second column, 0 0.5, minus 160 and 0. You do your positive diagonals, i times 0 0.5 times minus 120 is minus 60i, j times 0.3 times minus 160 is minus 48j and k times 0 times 0 is 0. Negative diagonals, negative, 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 negative 160 times 0.5 times k is positive 80k. The second one is 0 and the third one is 0. i, j, k, I even have it in order already. So this is the Cartesian vector form of the moment created by f2. So let me write it right here. Sum of the moments is equal to the moment MC, this moment, the moment created by F2, and the moment created by F1, which are given here and here. So you're basically adding this, this, and this together, and that gives you the sum of the moments. And the sum of the moments comes out to be minus. 105 in the i, minus 48 in the j, plus 80 in the k. Let me write the formula, I can fit it here. Sum of the moments is equal to mc plus mf1 creates about o plus mf2 creates about o. So I basically just added them together and I got the Cartesian vector form of the sum of the moments. and final answer for that and final answer for the resultant force. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.